It's the day of the shower. Everyone stepped out of the house for a minute. Steven left with Lucas to go pick up some ice and a couple other things that we needed. I've been up since like 6 a.m., um, maybe even earlier than that. I did not sleep well at all last night. I was gonna film the like prepping process from last night, but <sighs> the time just got away from me and I didn't have my camera and yeah, so anyways, I am gonna go through a little bit of the stuff that we've accomplished last night slash this morning. So Steven's mom just left, but she came and she did the balloon arch for me while I um, made a bunch of like little charcuterie board stuff. Um, and then my mom and I last night did all the table, like little flower arrangements and set up the dessert table, set up the lemonade table. Um, and I'm gonna do a bunch more after I get ready. So this is the balloon arch. It came out so pretty. And then last minute we decided to add these little leftover flowers from the flower arrangements, just to add a little something. Just got a little bit of some white and pink roses with baby's breath and they look so cute. So this is the arch and we were gonna have it outside but it's gonna be real hot today so we decided to leave it inside so we don't have to worry about it. So this is the arch. We have these drapes closed right now though so it doesn't get too hot in here. It's gonna be kind of warm but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So she did this all by herself while I was working in the kitchen and then my mom and I set this stuff up last night. Just a little lemonade stands and then the little flower arrangements looked, they just turned out so much better than I could have hoped. So I'm really happy with them. Um, I'll try to link as much as I can for you guys, but these I found on Amazon. They were like a set of 25 and they're all different. They're all different and unique and I just thought that was so pretty. And I picked up those flowers from Trader Joe's. So there's that a little drink station. And then this was the banner. This is a banner I made, a um, little DIY project, laminated baby girls um, ultrasound photos. So I could put them up here, but just some pictures of me with the belly and then our announcement photos. And it just looks so cute. But it looks so cute. And then my mom surprised me and um, she made this little cake, this little diaper cake for Josie. And it looks so cute and it goes with the theme. And the fact that it has a little sign that says baby Josie, I, I was obsessed. I had no idea she was making this for me, so it was a really nice surprise yesterday. The kitchen's kind of chaos right now, but that's because I'm in the middle of like putting stuff together. Um, so basically what I did this morning was, you guys saw I was setting up the tables, but I was also making, we have like no room in here. I was making these little, uh, these little, I don't know what you would call them, like little skewer things with just cheese and meats and prosciutto and all that. But our fridge looks chaotic. Um, so there's that. That was super time consuming. 
We got a few leftover arrangements here. All this stuff is gonna come together towards the end. And then over here is the dessert table. Let me turn on the light, there we go. Here's a little dessert table. And we're gonna have, my mom's picking up, I think cupcakes right now as we speak. She's picking up the cupcakes and the cake. This is gonna be the little cake topper. Um, and we just put more of the flower arrangements in here. And these I picked up from a little antique shop. I thought they were so pretty because it's this really pretty pink. Um, so we're gonna have cookies here. And then I bought these little labels from Amazon. Don't know exactly how I feel about them. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky about my handwriting, but um, just wanted people to know what's on the table. So this is gonna fill up in just a little bit. And yeah, um, is there anything else? The backyard, Steven spent a lot of time. Oh, we have the little, Steven spent a lot of time cleaning up back here. So we have the two tables, had rented an extra table, but then we didn't really know where to put it. So it's in the garage. So we have that, the canopy, because as you guys can see, the sun is out and it's gonna be hot. So we have a canopy. I wanted to get little cute umbrellas, but you know, I just didn't have time for that. There's our little chasing. A uh, bird or a squirrel. But backyard is super clean and ready. There's a little kids table. Yeah, it is like 10 o'clock now and oh my gosh, my hair. Insane. It's crazy. Um, I'm probably going to regret filming this part of the video, but I'm going to start getting ready while I have the chance. And then I think Steven or my mom might go pick up the food and then I'll finish putting together everything else putting the diaper cake in a different area. I think I might put it on the coffee table along with the little party favors. Um, and then again, like things will start to come more together when the party starts and the party starts at one. So I'm hoping to be done getting ready by like 1130, 12 o'clock. We'll see. People never show up on time, you know? So yeah, I'm excited. And I'm so happy about the balloon arch. It looks so good. I'm just, we. I wanted somewhere to have like photo ops and stuff and mainly the inside is what's decorated and we didn't really decorate the outside other than the two tables so this is perfect okay it is oh what time is it it is almost 11 40 i just did my hair i actually love the way that it turned out i don't have a like a flat brush so i wasn't able to like make it super flat up here hopefully can't really notice in photos. Um, I was only using my comb, and then once the like gel starts drying, if you keep combing it, then all the little white stuff comes out. So um, I had to be very careful with that. But wanted to put my hair up because, like I said, bangs are just awkward right now, and it's gonna be hot. And I actually like it. It's different. I don't normally put my hair like this, and then these earrings I'm obsessed with. Um, I got them from Etika, and they're a little heavy. But it's okay because it's a special occasion. Um, they're a little heavy, but I do like that they have these like really pretty pearls in them. And yeah, I'm actually really happy with how my hair came out. I'm super juiced because hair, when it's like a special event, it never comes out how you want it to. But I'm happy with it. And I'm going to change into my dress at the very last minute. My mom's on her way with the cake and the cupcakes. Steven just left to go pick up the food. And I'm going to start assembling... Um, like the charcuterie board and the salads and yeah because it's like crazy in here and that hour is going to go by super quick also a little bump a little bump date here we go 30 weeks at my baby shower so there she is she did not let me sleep last night at all by the way one i wasn't feeling good i had mexican food twice and i had the runs and then i couldn't I was in so much pain from everything we did yesterday that I just couldn't fall asleep. And then on top of that, she decided to have a dance party in my belly, literally all night, all night.
camera is actually turning out a lot better than I thought. And it's coming out better than the one I did like trying to be perfect for Thanksgiving. I swear like this is the weekend that apparently everyone and their mom is doing something. People on Instagram are talking about weddings. Oh, so good. The neighbors are having a bunch of people over again. I know. Oh my great, there's gonna be no parking. Steven's back well, with the sandwiches. Those actually look really good. But look at the charcuterie board. Arlo. Arlo doesn't know it's you. Some milk chocolate covered almonds. Can't go wrong with that. so much better than I expected. Literally just threw all these things on here, got a bunch of fillers, the almonds, the uh, nuts and all that. And then these I had prepped this morning. I saw something on Pinterest and I was like, that's a really good idea. So I did those this morning. They're just super time consuming, but we, I'm really glad we have this extra table because we don't have a lot of space in the kitchen. So we have this table for food and then the dessert table came out so, cute so cute it's simple but really pretty so i'm really happy with it we got the little wildflower sign everything looks so good then we got the diaper cake on the coffee table along with the little party favors my mom surprised me with um, a few weeks ago now you guys know josephine's middle name is indeed penelope and i love it i wouldn't change a thing about her name so we have that there. The balloon art's looking so pretty. And then I think I already showed you guys the little lemonade table. We're gonna put ice in that bucket in just a minute. I think it has a little scoop there. And then this little, I think I'm just going over a bunch of stuff that I already did, but the little banner, plates, sandwiches, salad. And then since we don't have a fridge that makes water or ice, I made this little like water station over here, which is really cute. Um, I'm really glad that I had these as extra. These were originally supposed to go over there for the dessert, but we ended up changing things and it worked out. So a little water station here and then more food. And then here I am in my dress. Do you mind shooting a little clip? This is me in my dress. I'm finally, I finally put it on, showing the bump. See if my sister can get a good like outfit pit or video. Yes. Do you like it? Yes. I love that it still fits. So this is the dress for today. I don't have people film me, so this is weird, but yeah. Oh. Lucas, what did you say about the diaper cake? What did you say? You said I love the diaper you like cake. This? Yeah. It's kind of nice. Oh, well, don't pull it It's kind of nice. Let's take a picture. It looks so pretty. I wanted to say thank you to everybody who came. Yeah! <laughs> no, but I got robbed of a baby shower the first time. COVID following me all over the damn world and not getting to have one, so this is kind of a, a double for the first one and the second one. So thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. I. <laughs> Don't cry, Zai. Well, thank and you. Cheers. She kind of had to be here. Come here. You didn't get to have anything. Cheers. No cheers, Bumbo. Cheers. Daddy. So cheers to my beautiful wife, the mother of my babies, and everybody's favorite little person. Cheers. 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 
Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 Did mommy have some? Start him out. Thank you, baby. That's the Chilean in him. Bye. <laughs> baby shower day got the fuel got some coffee got some breakfast so sad we had to take everything down today Stephen popped all the balloons and I had to take off all the floral arrangements it's so sad you thought they were gonna last forever I wanted them there for like a week wait where's where's my phone oh I have it oh, okay I took it for you mm -hmm. we just had breakfast at one of our favorite local bakeries they have like the best chorizo danishes, but they don't have them anymore. So they swapped them out for something else, but everything that they have there is so good. So we got a vanilla oat milk latte. Both. Of, did you get oat milk too? Uh, yeah. I even asked them if they had like um, honey lavender for you. And she looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, I know. <laughs> I was like, I know it's gross. Wow. She looks at you like you're crazy. That yeah. other trail coffee shop has it. But anyways, keeping it chill. I'm gonna do a little baby shower hey, haul at some yeah, point when we home. get back home. Are you are you driving Papa's truck? Huh? Where's, where's that truck? What's down there? Are you driving, Lucas? Where are we gonna what, go? What is that? What is that? I don't know. Lucas, look. <laughs> Where are we driving to? Where are we going? Tell me. A target. <laughs> target? <laughs> I've trained you well. Okay, back home now. Gonna do a quick little baby shower haul. I was actually surprised at the amount of gifts that we received because a lot of people had already ordered from the registry and like we had received a lot of the items and so it was just surprising that like we still got a ton of stuff really um and a ton of cute baby girl clothes i was obsessed with so um a lot of the bigger things i'm not going to be showing or like already did like i showed you guys stroller we already got that we have the car seat don't know if i showed you guys that um we got the crib mattress the newton baby crib mattress um, a couple days ago and um yeah there's some things i'm probably not going to show we have her like bassinet and stuff um like all the bigger items and stuff all the big items i also have linked on my my ltk if you guys want to see what we got um and what we put on our registry but we got majority of it someone asked me if we were missing anything and i was like i feel like we're missing one thing and i couldn't point my finger on it and then i realized it's a little snuggle me so that's one of like the bigger more expensive items that we need to get but we got time actually while i'm up i might as well show you guys so this time around we got the ubi i'm pretty sure is how you pronounce it um diaper pail with lucas we got the diaper genie but i wasn't like totally obsessed with the diaper genie so hopefully we like this one better i know it's smaller than the diaper genie but hopefully it's better and then we got some and we got some honest wipes we got the plastic bags for the diaper pail more diapers 
more wipes and then more diapers and then this is baby girl's car seat this is from up a baby the mesa v2 and I don't think I've shared it with you guys yet, but I think it's the cutest thing ever and Steven wanted the pink. I was so surprised he wanted such a bold color, but it's our first baby girl and so we're kind of just obsessed with like all the pink, but it's so cute. I do love the pink. <laughs> we got a bunch of like little swaddles and blankets. Um, I finally got a baby carrier. This is the Soli baby wrap. I'm obsessed with this print, if you guys can see it. I thought this print was so cute. I'm like obsessed with florals right now <laughs> because I'm having a little girl. It's just like my favorite. Um, My grandma gifted us this blanket that has her name on it. I thought it was so beautiful. And it's just this pretty pink knitted one. And then the rest of these were obviously gifts, but show you guys up in close a little pattern just like rose petals and polka dots and I just love all the pinks I was not this way when I was pregnant with Lucas like I was not obsessed with pink at all so I was like I really hope that we have a boy <laughs> I was just in a totally different phase in life the cutest shoes this is like her first pair of shoes I'm pretty sure because I haven't bought her any shoes those are adorable you know girl things ton of bows and we did get the little like mittens we didn't use these very often with Lucas, so we're not gonna buy a ton for her. A little baby book was gifted to us, which is awesome because I still didn't have one. I hadn't bought one yet for her. Little hooded towel set, little bunnies are so adorable. And then now let me go through some of the clothes. I'll do this one pretty quick. So we have this little onesie. are so special because my aunt brought these from Mexico and that to me is so special she bought her this little dress and it is so cute oh my gosh I am obsessed and these honestly are probably gonna be one of those dresses where like she wears it for photos and then <laughs> I'm probably going to take it off of her or hopefully one day we go back to Mexico and I'm able to like pack this with us and so she can wear and that would just be like so memorable but it is adorable so cute just really white which scares me <laughs> um and then here's another one that is just so darling all the little flowers and the pink so so cute I cannot wait to see her in that and then Steven's dad, his girlfriend, her mom, I know it's like a whole thing, um, makes, I guess she's like really good at knitting. I shouldn't say I guess, she is. Cause she knitted Josie some sweaters and a really pretty picture that I'll show you guys. But I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Look at this handmade just for baby girl. And it is so cute and it comes she made a little matching knitted sweater and little matching little matching booties. So cute. And then these little sandals. Like, how adorable. Um, and then she made her this really cute sign. She made her this. I was like, my mouth dropped because I was like, that is so sweet of her. We like have never even met her before. And she made her this. That is adorable. I have a lot of organizing to do, but over here we just got some little plush toys. My cousin gifted this to Josie. I thought this was so cute, a little giraffe. And then we got a little sloth and a little elephant, little turtle. And 
and just so some socks, some what do you call them? Pacifier clips. We got a ton of those, and then diaper rash cream. Another little passy. That stuff is for me, for my friend. More passies, and then little milestones. And then I actually have a ton more bottles. Again, we just got them a lot earlier um, from our friends and stuff, like all those registry gifts got brought. So um, whenever I do my nesting vlog and stuff, all those things will probably show up in the vlog, but we're a real big fan of the Dr. Brown bottles. They're a little more time consuming to clean, but they're really, really good bottles and I stand by them. So we got a ton of those. Okay, that's pretty much it for this haul. Um, like I said, we just have more things that are just packed up in the dressers. I don't know when I'm gonna start nesting, but it's gonna be soon, because even Steven just walked in here and was like, when are we gonna start organizing things? We gotta organize that closet, because it is chaos. I tried my best by myself, but I need help. So, yeah, that's my little haul. Yesterday was so nice. It was such a dream. Before the baby shower, I was kind of just getting overwhelmed. I'm like, oh, like, is it even worth having this party with all this stress? But then it was honestly just like, I don't know, I guess nerves getting to me, but I feel like I planned it out to be very simple and like not over the top and everything still turned out really, really beautiful. I had a lot of help from my mom, from Steven. He did a bunch of the yard work. Um, my mom helped me clean the house and set up the night before. And my mother-in-law came super early in the morning and made that balloon arch for us. And so I had a lot of help because I couldn't have done that by myself. And then day of, I actually felt like I was able to enjoy myself and all the company. And I was so grateful for everyone that showed up and Steven made a little toast and it was just a really special day it was also really sweet because a lot of our friends and family also brought lucas gifts which was really nice um so that he didn't feel feel left out and that was just really really sweet thing to do so i really really enjoyed the party yesterday and i'm really glad that we had it because it was really special and this was the first time that we had both sides of our family in our new house all at the same time and it surprisingly did not feel very crammed i was really shocked about that i thought our house was going to feel really small but i think with all the the outdoor seating that we had um it all worked out so really happy feeling really grateful also really glad that i decided to take pictures on my vlogging camera instead of my iphone we put the balloon arch inside because it was we thought it was gonna be hotter but also the balloons pop, you know, if it's just in the sun for too long. So we kept the balloon arch inside and it was intact the entire time. Not a single balloon popped. And um, the only thing was the lighting wasn't the greatest. Like I, people would take pictures with their iPhones and it just wasn't the best lighting. So I thankfully have decided to um, take pictures on my camera and they turned out so good so good the lighting was no issue and i'm just so glad that i decided to take pictures on this camera instead of my phone and then i just was super it was super easy to transfer them onto my phone then i was able to send them to everyone and i was like okay smart thinking i'm really glad that i did that so anyways i'm rambling now um i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye, guys.